of what I consider to be the two major pillars of horror gaming, Amnesia, a machine for pigs, expertly delivers one. Where something like Outlast plays on real, tangible fears about people and otherworldly things who mean to do us harm, Amnesia seems to psychoanalyze us and prey on the fears and regrets that cause restless nights of sleep. During the course of its six-hour campaign, I was immersed in an ever-growing sense of sheer dread the likes of which few games have ever been able to accomplish. Do you know me? Who are you? Where are my children? Trapped, Mandis. The journey of Oswald Mandis, an amnesiac in search of his missing children during the final hours of the 19th century, unfolds with a wonderful sense of dread and mystery. Wandering through the foggy streets of London and making your way through a slaughterhouse that would make Upton Sinclair cringe provides a wonderful setting for a brutal descent into madness. There came a strange yet enlightening moment about halfway through where my fear of the things that go bump in the night took a backseat to completely different kinds of dread. Something intangible yet much more terrifying to me on a personal level. Don't get me wrong, the threat of a grotesque bipedal pig monster still hung in the air. But the things that began to eat away at me were the thoughts of who my character was and what terrible things I may have done to deserve this dark Victorian hell. It only got better from there. Through the use of enigmatic diaries, wonderfully creepy audio logs, and a great sense of environmental storytelling, A Machine for Pigs makes Madness's narrative arc a fantastic trip that culminates in one of the most satisfying final acts of 2013. It marries a deeply tragic and personal story with a terrifying look back at the dark side of the rise of technology. Fans of the original Amnesia will immediately notice that A Machine for Pigs has gotten rid of many of the mechanics that made it a unique, if slightly cumbersome, experience. Gone is your item inventory and resource management, replaced with a newfound emphasis on environmental exploration. Your trusty lantern no longer requires a constant supply of oil, though having it lit will still attract the various beasts which roam the world. And I'm saddened by the absence of the signature sanity meter, one of the original Amnesia's most memorable elements. Staring straight at an enemy will no longer cause the screen to contort, the soundtrack to distort, and your characters to ultimately die of madness. But while some may be turned off by these changes, A Machine for Pigs delivers a tighter and arguably more interesting horror experience than its predecessor. Stripping it down to its bare essentials makes for a much less physically taxing game. You won't be hiding in closets, flicking your light on and off to regain your sanity, or scouring the environment for extra oil and tinder boxes. Sadly, you'll have to trudge through a lot of underwhelming puzzles to extract it. Those puzzles come across as annoying speed bumps between the much more effective moments of terror and story progression. You'll find yourself replacing fuses, turning valves, and moving parts of the environment in order to solve most of the uninspired obstacles. None are tricky enough to elicit that coveted aha moment, and instead the completion of a puzzle delivers a feeling more akin to the empty satisfaction I feel after doing the dishes. Amnesia and Machine for Pigs may be a different kind of horror than fans are expecting, but it's an interesting and welcome experiment in gaming terror. Though its sharp fangs of resource management may have been dulled, in place of the swift bite is a deeper, more haunting world that will linger with me much longer than the original. Between the obligatory puzzles is a game that delivers a painfully personal story and some superb psychological horror. For more on the scary things that go bump in the night, stick right here on IGN.